For this project, we'll be using some white paper. We'll also use a regular pencil, Sharpie, and then some type of colors. I'm using colored pencils, but you could also use markers. And then I have a coloring sheet of the Mona Lisa. I found this coloring sheet on Google and I just printed it off. I'm going to start off by taking the coloring sheet and I'm going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to use my regular pencil to color all over the back of the sheet. And notice I'm not holding my pencil the way I normally would. And that way I can color a little bit quick, more quickly. I'm making sure to have a nice even covering over all of the picture on the front to make sure that I will be able to see all of the area full of pencil. The direction does not matter. You can turn your paper sideways or upside down to make sure that you can get some good coverage. I'm only trying to color where the lines are, especially the lines of the actual Mona Lisa. The background lines don't matter quite as much. While I'm doing this, I'm trying to start thinking about ways that I might want to make my Mona Lisa a modern person, like maybe where she might live or what she might do for a living or what she might do for fun. So I'm maybe thinking about people that I know in today's world and thinking about how they could be interpreted into the Mona Lisa. I'm lining up my coloring sheet over the top of my white paper. Sometimes it helps just to stick a couple little pieces of tape down so that you know your paper won't move. Now I'm using my pencil and I'm trying to push kind of hard and I'm going around the important parts of Mona Lisa. So I'm starting off with her hair and I'm not doing every single line but I do want to do the important ones like the ones that are right on the outside edges of her hair. I'm not doing every single line on the inside of her hair. I want to make sure to get the curve of her neck and her shoulder and then of course the features on her face. So I'm making sure to push hard and outline her eyes, eyebrows, the lines for her nose, especially the lips that are partly smiling. Is she smiling? Is she not? For her clothes, I want to just kind of get some of the important lines of those as well. Although a lot of the clothing lines will change later because we're going to make her clothing more modern. The hands are very important. I want to make sure to really take my time outlining those and making sure that my lines are nice and crisp on where the fingers are. I'm adding a couple of the wrinkles in the fabric because some of those would be in modern clothes as well. For the background, I'm adding a line here or there, but I'm probably going to change it anyway so it doesn't matter too much. You can always check to make sure that you're getting all your lines by lifting up your paper. Then when you're done, remove the tape and you can see you have a very, very light portrait of the Mona Lisa on your paper. Now I'm going to start focusing on the face of Mona Lisa. And I'm switching to a Sharpie and I'm thinking, okay, what kind of hairstyle might she have if she was a modern person? How would her facial features change? I'm using a thin Sharpie because the lines are pretty small and I'm gonna start with the eyes. I'm making sure to just trace over the lines that I have for the eyes. I don't wanna change the eyes too much because the eyes, the nose and the mouth are kind of what makes her look like the Mona Lisa. I'm going ahead and adding the pupils of the eyes, the lines for the eyebrows. I'm adding the little marks to show the bottom of her nose. And also the lines to show where her lips part and the bottom lip. The 
The side of the face is pretty important too. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in exactly the same as the picture was before. Now at this point I'm thinking about her hair. What kind of hair would she have if she's a modern person? Or you could even consider giving her a hat. I decided to give her some side swept bangs and then I'm still going to give her some wavy hair but it's going to be a little bit more modern than the hair she had back then. The top of her hair would be at the same area, so I'm going to keep that line pretty much the same as it is. I gave her a side part instead of a part down the middle because that would be more contemporary too. I'm using wavy lines to give her hair kind of a more modern look. But again, you could give her a haircut, you can make her hair straight, you could put her hair in a ponytail, you could give her a hat whatever you decide to make her look more modern. Maybe she's a big sports fan and she's going to a sports game, so you could give her a hat to whatever kind of sports team she's going to. Or maybe she loves scuba diving, so you could put her in scuba dive gear. Anything that makes her more modern than the early 1500s. Something she could be out and about doing today. So she's still wearing her hair down in my picture, but you can see even just with the hair that I've drawn, she already looks more modern than the actual painting. I'm also going to change the neckline of her shirt. I'm going to try to create a shirt that's a little bit more contemporary. It could just be a t-shirt, could be some kind of sweater, it depends on the weather and where she is and what she's doing. So thinking about that story is pretty important before you actually start designing the clothes that she's gonna wear. I am adding a line for where her arm is and of course a line for the front part of her shirt. I forgot a couple of the necklines so I'm going in and adding those as well. Before I do any more with the shirt, I wanted to jump down and work on the hands. I'm going to leave the hands in the exact same position that they are in the painting. If you wanted to, you could change up the hands, but I decided that I want her holding a cell phone in one of her hands and it kind of works just to kind of stick it in like that. I decided that she's listening to some music and she has some earpieces that just plug right into the bottom of her phone. So I have those connected in their inner ears. I also decided to design a phone case and I'll add that in later. I'm going to go ahead and trace her hands and I do want to keep her hands just like the painting. If you want her to be holding something or if you want to move one of her hands or maybe she's holding up a hand to say hello or do a peace sign or something, that's fine too. I decided to give her some fingernails on the end of her hands that are a little bit more defined so that I can give some nail polish to her later when I color her in. I'm designing a, a fun phone case for her. I decided I'm just going to do a circle pattern on the back. It's something that already stands out as super modern compared to her original picture on the left. Now I'm thinking about her shirt. What kind of shirt is she wearing? How do I want it to look? I want to keep the shirt pretty simple, so I'm just adding the arm to the side and of course it has to go over and attach to the hand. I'm also going to do that with the arm in the back as well. And you can see from the other picture how the arm kind of moves 
but I am taking out all of the extra fabric that she has in the dress and the cloak that she's wearing in the original painting. I could add a pattern or design on her shirt, maybe give it some stripes. I could maybe draw something in the middle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. So I'll just add a little collar here for the top part of her shirt. Decided maybe I want this to look kind of more like a sweater. And we'll leave it at that. I wanna make her look like she's sitting down. So I am gonna make the bottom section of her shirt and then a little bit of her legs kind of sitting out too. Now I'm trying to think about where she is. Where do I want this modern girl to be hanging out? Could be at the beach, it could be at the mall, could be anywhere. I've decided maybe I'm gonna make some cute little shops right behind her. I can kind of keep them up above by where her head is and fill them in up in that area. I think I'm gonna have her maybe sitting on some kind of bench. So that needs to come around closer down to her body. I'm gonna start off with the line that's kind of by her shoulders. That'll be the back part of the bench and we'll go down from there. Then I'm gonna extend the line off to the right and I'll just go right off the side of the paper. I'm gonna add a little armrest to this side of the bench. And that gives me a nice foreground so it brings her right up to the front of the painting. Now in the background I wanna add some shops so I'm gonna just start making some vertical lines and I want them to be a couple different heights. She's hanging out downtown. She's taking a break on this little bench. She's checking out the little shops. She's just stopping to kind of rest and listen to some music. I've decided to add a couple little details to some of my shops to make them more interesting to look at. While I'm doing this, I'm trying to think of what kind of shops she might be going to if she were out shopping in today's world. I'll add a couple doors, a couple windows, maybe a big poster on the wall. Some more awnings. Now all of a sudden she's in a location. I also decided that I wanted to give her a purse. Since she's out shopping, she does need a little handbag and that also helps add to the modern effect. I'm just keeping it a little shoulder purse that she wears over her shoulder. Nothing too fancy. I also want to add some sleeves details to her sweater. I decided she could use some modern jewelry too, so I'm adding a necklace that has some swirl patterns on it. I thought it might be fun for her to have some sunglasses since she's outside shopping. So I added some sunglasses as well and I'll color those in a little bit darker later. Now I'm going to take my eraser and I want to make sure to erase all of the lines of when I originally did the transfer of the coloring sheet. So I still have some of the lines of the original Mona Lisa and I don't want those in my final picture. So they already are really light but I'm going to go ahead and use my eraser just to make sure that you can't see them anymore. All right, now that I have my modern Mona Lisa drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and add some color. I'm using colored pencils, but you could easily use markers for this as well. Crayons might not fit quite that well into some of the smaller areas. 
I'm starting with her face and I'm just using a regular peach color to get her complexion in there. I'm leaving by her eyes um, empty so that I can use a different color for that. I'm also doing her hands at this time. I usually like to start by coloring in the skin tones first when working on portraits. Next I'm going to use kind of a light shade of brown and I just want to add a little bit of shading like on her neck and just kind of along the edges of her face, especially by where her hair is, a little bit by her nose and her glasses, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to do the same thing on her hands, adding just a little bit of shading around the edges. Now I'm going to start adding in some things that make her look more modern. I thought it would be fun for her sunglasses to be a pink shade. They definitely didn't have those in the early 1500s. And I thought her nail polish could match, as well as some sections on her foam case. And we'll even color a part of her purse with the pink too. She co she's a coordinated girl. The modern Mona Lisa. I've colored in her shirt and now of course I'm going to give her some blue jeans. Blue jeans of course are another great way to modernize a woman that would be from today's world. Leggings I'm sure would work too. Again if she was doing something different like going to a sports game or maybe going swimming, you could put her in a swimsuit or some other type of clothing that would be appropriate for wherever she's going. Help it add to your story. As I'm coloring with colored pencils, I'm kind of going along the edges and darkening them just a little bit so they stand out. So here you can see that I have gone in now and I've added details to the shops in the background with color. I've colored in all the other parts of her picture. And there you have it, the modern Mona Lisa.